Hi guys, before we dive in, I want to demonstrate what we will accomplish by the end of this video. In the demo, I will run a bash script that will provision all the servers on Proxmox using Terraform, then automatically install and start all the necessary services and programs on each machine. I will see you in a minute. By the end of this video, you will learn how to set up a fully automated, reproducible environment like this. Let's dive in. In this tutorial, we are going to set up and configure Proxmox and use Terraform to automate the deployment of multiple virtual machines. First, we will start by installing Proxmox, our virtualization platform. Then. We will create a template virtual machine on Proxmox. This template will be the base that Terraform can clone multiple times. I will be using NixOS for the template VM. And you might be wondering why NixOS and not Ubuntu or Debian or maybe CentOS. NixOS is a declarative Linux distribution, which means you can manage your entire system configuration with a single file called configuration.nix. This eliminates the need for heavy external configuration management tools like Ansible. In contrast, for Ubuntu, Debian or CentOS, you typically need Ansible, Chef or Puppet for configuration. Each of these tools has its limitations. Ansible, for example, while powerful, can be slow and run many Python scripts under the hood. If a process fails, it can leave remnants of these scripts behind. Plus, Ansible isn't fully declarative, which means configurations can become inconsistent over time. With NixOS, on the other hand, everything is fully declarative. Once you've written your configuration, it will behave identically on any machine. So, while I'm not saying Ansible is bad, it certainly has its place. We are just using right tool for the right job here. We will still use Ansible later, but only lightly for tasks like uploading files, performing updates and restarting services. The heavy lifting will be handled entirely by NixOS. After creating the NixOS template VM, we will use Terraform to automate the cloning process. Terraform will customize each clone's IP address, gateway, RAM and CPU based on our Terraform configuration files. Once the virtual machines are up and running, I will show you how to deploy your NixOS configurations across all the cloned VMs. We will run a script that uploads the configuration files and builds them on each target machine. By the end of this tutorial, you will see why NixOS shines in environments where configuration consistency and automation are crucial. There are a lot of moving parts in this tutorial. I want to make sure this tutorial will be useful in the future too. This is why I want to pin as much versions as possible and let you know 
what versions of tools we are using here. I will show you how you can pin versions of tools on NixOS using a feature called Flex. To keep our work environment consistent and clean, I will be using a Nix development shell to install all the necessary tools. This is made possible thanks to a powerful feature of NixOS called Flakes, which allows us to pin specific versions of packages and tools, ensuring no conflicts. If you are watching this tutorial in the future, you might run into issues due to updates in packages that could produce different results. To prevent this situation, I will create a development shell that locks in the exact versions we are using today. This way, you will follow along with confidence, regardless of when you are watching. I will also share the development shell configuration along with all the code on my knowledge base. Okay, let's create our development shell. Let's first create a directory. CI CD project and change directory into it. Oops. All right, let's create a file called flake.next and open that file with your text editor. Okay, I actually created a template for this tutorial. Go to my node trace. To videos in part two, search for dev shell. Dev shell, yes. Oops. So we have that dev shell template that makes just copy, copy, just double click, press <coughs> control A, copy, and paste now. So, we want Terraform version 1.8.3 and QEMU version 9.0.1 and maybe Tmux 3.4. In order to install the Terraform with this version, we have to go to this URL. And search for Terraform. Search for the package version 1.8.3. Click on this hash. Go to this section and copy that URL. Copy that URL. Go back to your text editor and just paste it here. Now make sure there is a semicolon at the end. Now we have imported our channels called packages, Nix packages. We have to import that channel into our output section, which is here, and create the package library here. We have to import that. And here we have a development shell block which is going to create our development shell with make shell function and here it is here it's uh, the packages variable and let's change that to terraform so we want to install the terraform from that library package library Okay, once we've done that, we, we want to install QEMU with this version. To do that, let's go back to this site and change Terraform to QEMU. Search for the version 9.0.1. Click to this hash and go basically doing the same thing here. Let's copy that. Go back and now we want to create a different uh, channel. 
called QEMU packages.url. Make sure it's there's a semicolon. Go back, go to go here and import QEMU packages. Copy that block, paste, and now import QEMU packages this time. Let's call this variable QEMU, QEMU packages that live because it's a library, package library. Go to development shell and type QEMU packages that live that QEMU. And do the same thing for Tmux. And now, since Terraform is not fully open source, we have to include this option. Allow on free, true. Now let's exit our text editor and build our development shell. To do that, let's do develop. Packages are going to be downloaded. They are downloaded now. Okay, let's check the Terraform version. Terraform.v, as you can see, 1.8.3 version is installed. Let's make it for QEMU as well version and Tmux. Yes, 